So uh, this is a shoot for a Marvel show. Um, we heard about it. We are walking back and forth here in order to stop the uh, uh, set up a picket line that the Teamster trucks won't cross either in or out. Um, the goal of that is to shut down the production. Um, and uh, you know, if they, uh, we're, we're uh, we think what's going to happen is that the trucks are not going to come out, and they're going to have to leave them here overnight, and they're going to lose a day because they can't move them to their next location. One of the strategies is, you know, us getting out here and, and, and marching and protesting and getting people, yes, yes, getting people involved and getting the nation sort of to see what's going on. But we can actively affect production, and that is means going on the ground, going to these productions, and actively affecting the scheduling, actively affecting what they're doing. Because if we're doing that, then we're making the statement even stronger. The happiest Hollywood ending. I guess. I guess for a Hollywood ending, you have to have some adversity, right? So I guess we. I guess we go through the hot sun um, through the summer until we start to threaten the fall TV schedule, right? Which still makes a lot of money for the broadcast networks, and they start to freak out and they, you know, push uh, push Ted Sarandos and the rest of them back to the table, um, and we make a deal that preserves the writers' room, um, codifies it into our MBA. We make a deal that ensures that. Late night and daytime writers are paid the same and have the same protections on streaming as they do on television. And we uh, protect screenwriters from free work by making sure they get paid weekly instead of their payment being held until the very end of their contract, which allows the producers to force them to do endless rounds of free work. Um, it, we're, it, you know, we solve those issues. We ban AI. We we uh, improve our residuals. Um, but most importantly, we put in place the protections that ensure that this will be a livable career for a long time in the future. Um, we're not just in it for the dollars. We're in it to protect, like, the existence of our very career.